Hello everyone, welcome to the daily editorial analysis of Shankar IS Academy. Displayed here are the articles that we are going to discuss. The first article, a last minute plan. This article is taken from the newspaper, the Indian Express. This article is talking about the winter action plan for tackling pollution in Delhi for the coming winter season. The next article, keep the fire of the self-respect movement going. The year 2024 marks the start of the 100th year of self-respect movement. This article is all about that. So this article is taken from the newspaper, the Hindu. So without much delay, let's get into our discussion. Before moving to the discussion, we have an important announcement from Shankar IS Academy. Shankar IS Academy is pre-storming UPSC Prelims Test Series 2025. Batch 2 will be starting on 5th October 2024. We know that the prelims is getting tougher every year. So, join the course and boost your prelims preparation. Look at this newspaper article, a last minute plan. This newspaper article is talking about Delhi's winter action plan for tackling pollution during the winter time. No doubt, it is a right step towards right direction. But this short term plan has its own limitations such as focusing on short term goals. Or solutions lack of coordination between the government agencies and lack of cooperation between the delhi and uh, its neighboring states what is the need for a short-term winter action plan currently because we know that delhi is one of the cities affected due to the air pollution and other pollution what are the reasons behind this there are many number of reasons behind the pollution in delhi for example rising rate of population industrialization urbanization vehicles stubble burning but what makes the population more severe during the winter time? For this, we have to understand a little bit of geography. During the winter times, a cold layer of air will be formed above the Delhi. And this cold layer of air will block the rise of hot, less denser air. And this phenomenon is known as temperature inversion. And this temperature inversion will also prevent the pollutants from rising and dispersing. Therefore, the pollutants will be trapped near the ground and the city will experience severe pollution during the times of winter. So, with this understanding, let us discuss the initiatives taken by the government to deal with the pollution in Delhi. The first major initiative is Graded Response Action Plan or GRAP. It is a set of emergency measures based on air quality index levels to prevent the air pollution from becoming hazardous or worse. And how this plan will work? Provide outlines of specific actions to be taken depending on the severity of the pollution. That is, these actions are taken based on predefined air quality categories ranging from moderate to emergency. For example, if the air quality index shows that the air pollution is moderate to poor, then there will be actions such as restrictions on garbage burning, increased road cleaning. And if the air quality is very poor, then there will be ban on diesel generators and, uh, and there will be an increase in the parking fees to reduce traffic. And if the air quality is severe, then there will be ban on brick kill and also stone crushing and uh, hot mix plant closure. If the air quality index is severe plus or emergency, then the government will implement a ban on entry of, entry of trucks, construction activities and even schools will be closed if necessary. And what is the objective? The objective of this plan is to take immediate action to reduce the air pollution from the objective. Then what is the objective of this graded response action plan? The objective of this plan is to reduce air pollution and prevent them from becoming hazardous through immediate actions. The next initiative is National Clean Air Program. And this is a long term time bound national strategy to tackle air pollution across India. And this program was launched in the year 2019. It aims to reduce air pollution in 122 non attainment cities. Non attainment cities means cities that have not met the national ambient air quality standard. And how this program will work? The target of this program is to reduce particulate matter 2.5 and particulate matter 10 to by 20 to 30 percentage before 2024. And this national clean air program also includes city specific action plans. That means each city will develop its own strategy to reduce vehicular emission, industrial emission, waste burning and dust control. And the next initiative under this program is monitoring and enforcement. That includes stricter monitoring and enforcement of pollution norms by strengthening the air quality monitoring network. The next is the popular odd even scheme and odd even scheme is a traffic rationing system where vehicles with the odd or even license plates will be allowed to drive on alternative days. For example, vehicles with the even license plates will be allowed to drive on even days and vehicles with the odd license plates will be allowed to drive on odd days. And the objective of this scheme is to reduce vehicular emission and the traffic congestion. And this scheme also has a limitation that is it is a temporary measure which will be implemented only during periods with a high pollution for example during the time of winter therefore it uh, it is not this program is not enough to bring a long-term or sustainable solution for the current air pollution problem in delhi 
and another major limitation or the challenge for the implementation of odd even scheme is the increasing number of private vehicles and the next key initiative is ban on firecrackers during diwali or other festival seasons we have a culture of firecracking and this is one of the major reasons behind the pollution in cities including delhi and in the year 2018 the supreme court issued orders to ban the sale and use of convectional firecrackers and allowing only green crackers that produce less smoke in the festival season and in the recent years and followed by that delhi government also imposed a ban on ban on all kind of firecrackers that is including green firecrackers and that ban is not only for a temporary period of or a festival time it is throughout the year that means throughout the year that no firecrackers will be allowed on delhi and the objective of the scheme is to prevent short term spike in the pollution especially during the festival season and the next major initiative is comprehensive action plan or cap it is a long term it is a holistic long term framework to control air pollution in delhi and the national capital region and this program was implemented under the order of supreme court and later it was developed by the environment pollution prevention and control authority and this comprehensive action plan is known for its multi sectoral approach which means it addresses pollution from various sectors such as transport industries power plant dust control waste management and agriculture agriculture is also one of the major factors behind the pollution in new delhi the stubble burning is one of the major reason under the agriculture and the focus of this comprehensive action plan is a long term pollution reduction and emergency response it aims to address air pollution from multiple sources in a coordinated manner that is why it is a multi sectoral approach now we are going to see the challenges faced by the government initiatives in the context of delhi air pollution the first major challenge is vehicular emission it is a major source of pollution in cities including delhi despite many government schemes such as odd even scheme there is an increase in the number of vehicles particularly the private ones which is continues to overwhelm the city's infrastructure and the next major problem is lack of expansion or the insufficient expansion of public transport the government has taken steps to promote public transport but it is not enough to meet the demand of a growing or a developed you know highly populated city like delhi therefore it will also lead to other problems like traffic congestion and and increased emission and the other problem related to the vehicular emission is the lack of knowledge or slow adoption of electric vehicles and the next major challenge is stubble burning delhi is neighbored by many states such as uttar pradesh haryana punjab these states are known for their agriculture production therefore they have a habit of burning stubble in the post harvest season which is one of the major reasons behind the delhi air pollution and uh, the farmers are often forced to burn crops residues due to economic constraints and time limitations the government has taken efforts to promote alternatives such as bio decomposers but the lack of affordable and effective solutions perpetuates this problem and this will finally result in severe or poor emergence or poor air quality in cities like delhi and the ne next major challenge is poor enforcement of policies we know that government has taken lot of short term medium term and long term measures to deal with the problem of pollution but their implementations are still remaining weak and due to the lack of monitoring or due to the insufficient monitoring the orders such as ban on crack fire crackers you know uh, restriction on construction dust these are often violated due to the inadequate monitoring and the next major challenge is industrial pollution that is industrial activities particularly in area surrounding delhi contribute significantly to the air pollution in delhi addition to that enforcement of pollution control measures in industrial zone is inconsistent and cleaner technologies are not widely adopted due to cost concerns this makes our plans and policies ineffective so in this topic we discussed the major initiatives taken by the government to deal with the problem of air pollution in delhi and what are the challenges associated with it now we can give certain suggestions what are the suggestions the first step can be taken is strengthening public transport how can we strengthen the public transport that is the government should focus on increasing the number of buses with the last mile connectivity and promoting eco friendly transportation options such as electric buses and bicycles this will be a significant measure or step in resolving the problem of air pollution in delhi and it also includes providing incentives for public transport use such as reduced fares and better facilities this will eventually encourage the people to adopt public transport than private transport and the next step can be promoting electric vehicles that includes steps to accelerate the transition to electric vehicles it is very essential to reduce the pollution in the mega cities including delhi and for accelerating this ev transition the government should enhance subsidies for electric vehicles develop robust network for recharge facilities and create policies that discourage the use of internal combustion energy internal combustion 
engine vehicles and this program also includes creating awareness about the electric vehicles so lack of knowledge or awareness about the electric vehicles vehicle is one of the major reasons behind the slow adoption of this electric vehicles we have already discussed this and the next step can be sustainable stubble management so we already said that stubble management in the neighboring states is one of the major reasons behind the high air pollution in delhi therefore to tackle this issue a more robust and financially viable solution for farmers must be implemented that includes the use of bio decomposers along with the providing affordable stubble management machinery like happy seeders can significantly reduce practices such as stubble burn and the next initiative can be incentivizing the sustainable agriculture practices and providing subsidies for cleaner technologies will be crucial in dealing the problems like stubble burning and india we have recently we have a plan of increasing ethanol production if we can strengthen that plan then it will also helpful for the farmers as well as it will be very useful in reducing stubble burning and the next step is enhancing enforcement mechanism we know that lack of monitoring of the orders or the government initiatives is one of the major reasons behind the violation of therefore through enhancing enforcement mechanism we can reduce the violation of the norms to violation of the air pollution norms and that includes strengthening monitoring system which means introducing higher penalties for violators and uh, using technologies like drones and surveillance camera to track offenders will be very useful in preventing the people from committing such violation and it will be very useful during periods with a high pollution such as winter and the festival season and the next under this utilizing better technology like i said using drones and the surveillance camera for tracking offenders and nothing can be successful without the participation of the people therefore we have to encourage the participation of local communities in the fight against air pollution so that can be done only through creating awareness campaigns and people inclusive programs definitely it will bring a better solution and the next step can be industrial pollution control you know that the the industrial pollution industrial pollution from the surrounding states is one of the major reasons behind the air pollution in delhi therefore we have to encourage the industries to adopt cleaner technologies to reduce the pollution and the second step will be strict enforcement of ban on fuels like coal and furnace oil along with providing financial incentivizers for adopting greener alternative technology and along with this the government also should take steps to support industries with the technological assistance and the funding to upgrade greener options therefore these are the steps can be taken to deal with the problem of air pollution in india and the question is discuss the major challenges faced in tackling air pollution in delhi and propose effective strategies for mitigation in your response highlight the role of government policies public participation and technological advancements in achieving sustainable air quality so this question can be divided into two parts in the first part you have to highlight what are the challenges in tackling air pollution in delhi and we have to talk about the mitigation strategies so challenges we have challenges we have already discussed like the stubble burning industrial pollution vehicular emission the rising rate of population and vehicles and weak enforcement of law these are the major challenges in tackling air pollution coming to the mitigation strategies we have talked about uh, the odd even scheme graded response action plan so these are the mitigation strategies and in response highlight the role of government policies public participation and technological advancements in achieving air quality management in the second part you have to talk about the government policies so we discussed nearly five government policies focusing on short term and long term solutions so here you can talk about the cap comprehensive action plan or you can talk about the national clean air program and these are the actions which are or the policies which are looking for a long term solution and what is the importance of public participation so nothing can be succeeded without the proper participation of public therefore we can include the public in in our fight against air pollution through awareness campaigns or other public participating program and what is the role of technological advancements in achieving sustainable air quality for example adoption of clean energy for example green hydrogen or uh, electric vehicles or solar programs will be very useful in attaining sustainable air quality so with this idea try to answer this main question and post it in the comment section we will review and we will reply for your answer so without much delay let's begin the next article look at this newspaper article keep the fire of the self respect movement going this year 2024 marks the start of the 100th year of self respect movement we know that like the water we drink like the food we eat like the air we breathe self respect is very important for every man and woman on this planet and no one is ready to sacrifice their self respect movement at any point of time but if you look in the history under different regimes under different social and political systems the self respect of the majority of the communities particularly the oppressed communities were violated 
in the name of casteism in the name of racism in the name of discrimination untouchability here comes the importance of a moment like self respect movement which was a milestone in the history but according to this article the legacy of the self respect movement is not limiting in the 20th century it played an important role in shaping the politics of tamil nadu at the same time this article is calling for the intensified fight of the self respect movement to ensure social justice social harmony and established equality and rationalism so let us discuss more about the self respect movement in this background first we will begin with the basic what is self respect movement self respect movement was an egalitarian movement which fights for social justice to all irrespective of discrimination in the indian justice in the indian society it was established in the year 1925 by evr with an objective to dismantle the indian dismantle the hindu social order create a rational a caste free and religious free society and this movement also had objective of revitalizing the dravidian languages and this movement had official journals such as kudiyarasu which means democracy and revolt now we are going to see the emergence of the self respect movement like i said the self respect movement was started in the year 1925 by ev ramaswami naik he organized the first self respect conference in chengalpet on september on february 17 1929 and the conference addressed key issues such as equal property rights for women abolition of caste names education and employment opportunity for women and also promoted radical social reforms including self respect marriage and widow remarriage now we are going to see the impact of the social impact of this self respect movement so the impact of the self respect movement can be reflected in various legislation for example madras devadasi prevention of dedication act 1947 this devadasi system was one of the major problems faced by the women throughout the history and this is the system which which violated their rights and social status since the ancient period the, the society had a habit or a custom of dedicating their girls to temple but in the temple they faced a lot of issues including sexual abuse but under this madras devadasi prevention of dedication act 1947 this act made dedication of girls to temples illegal and at the same time this act also provided legal provided devadasi's legal right to marry and the second law is hindu succession act 1956 and later it was amended in the year 2005 and this succession act provides women equal rights over property like the men and the next we have the hindu marriage act 1967 this act was a modified this act ended the caste endogamy and encouraged people from marginalized community to live with dignity now we are going to see the significance of the self respect movement the first major significance is is, is it opposed to the idea of brahmanism through promoting the self respect marriages the self respect movement encouraged inter caste and inter religious unions and that too sometimes without the presence of brahmin priest and the second one is the idea of rationalism through through propagating the idea of rationalism the self respect movement under evr slowly diminished the brahmin monopoly on power and influence and the third major achievement or the significance is the women's rights the self respect movement brought a lot of changes in women's life and they not only enjoyed their rights over their property they also enjoyed their rights over physical sexual and reproductive choices coming to the legacy of self respect movement in women's empowerment the self respect movement focused on liberating women from caste and gender shackles and also focused on promoting dignity self confidence and equal status for women in the society and for that the self respect movement also had certain future reform plans that includes reservation for women in local governance that is in panchayat and we have established that in article established that through 73rd and 74th constitutional amendment and the next measure was supportive laws protecting women from domestic violence and dowry harassment currently we have act to prevent both domestic violence and dowry so it is considered as a legacy of self respect movement in women empowerment and the next plan was encouraging active participation of women in social and political reforms and the next initiative was educating women for their liberation and also to provide better understanding about the social structure and create an independent mindset and the next reform was dismantling the social stigma surrounding the widowhood we know that even in the 20th century the the widow remarriage or the widows were considered as a widows faced a lot of and the next reform was dismantling stigma surrounding the widowhood we know that even in the 20th century the widow in the society had to face a lot of social stigma for example the people often consider them as bad omen so these kind of stigma must to be dismantled and the self respect movement played a key role in it and the self respect movement also advocated for women's financial independence and employment opportunities with equal payment and the movement also launched campaigns against child marriage and advocated for women's right to choose their partners 
so these are the major legacies or achievements of self respect movement in women's empowerment moving on to the other achievements of the self respect movement that includes social reform we know that self respect movement promoted inter caste and inter religious marriages and through that they challenged the brahmanical traditions in ceremony and the self respect movement played a key role in abolition of caste discrimination that is the self respect movement actively fought against the caste based inequalities and especially targeting the hierarchical social order existed in the indian society and third major achievement is the legal reforms for example tamil nadu became the first state to legalize hindu marriages without brahmin priest and this is the biggest and this is considered as a legacy of self respect movement we have discussed this and the next major achievement is gender equality they advocated for the rights of women in their property they advocated for financial independence of women they also advocated for the movement also advocated for equal payment of women therefore it uh, played a key role in establishing gender equality and also challenged the patriarchal norms existed in the indian society and the next major achievement is the promotion of rationalism periyar itself was one of the great rationalist of the 20th century therefore the self respect movement encouraged a secular society free from superstition and other oppressive traditions and blind beliefs the next major achievement is political influence like the article says the self respect movement played a key role in shaping the tamil nadu politics even after the independence of india and still the self respect movement is advocating for social justice and equality in the state of tamil nadu and the last major achievement is the cultural impact that is the self respect movement created a strong sense of tamil identity and nationalism resisting cultural homogenization so coming to the conclusion we can say that the legacy of the self respect movement continues to shape the shape and inspire modern revolutions especially those focused on social justice equality and rational thought so with this we will discuss a main question related to this. the question is how does the legacy of self respect movement influence the contemporary society so here it is simply asking about the legacy of how the legacy of self respect movement in the contemporary society so you can write a lot of things from legal provisions such as madras madras devadasi prevention of dedication act 1947 from that you can write about the acts against the dowry and domestic violence so you can write about these legal provisions and uh, the self respect movement also brought a lot of social changes in the society through propagating rationalism and thus india currently is a, one of the strongest secular states and thanks and for that we have to thank the self respect movement and uh, ev ramaswami naik in that way the self respect movement's legacy continues even today in the form of secularism in the form of gender equality in the form of in the form of social harmony and freedom of mobility and freedom against discrimination so you can write all this under this question so try to answer this question with this idea and post it in the comment section we will review and reply for that with this we are coming to the conclusion for today's editorial analysis if you like the video hit the like button and give your feedbacks as comments and share this content with your friends to make the competition more healthy and also subscribe to the channel and to receive the on time update hit the bell icon thank you have a nice day